As the majority of the Sydney to Hobart fleet continues to make their way to Tasmania, preparations are underway for an even longer event in the West. More than 30 years after it began, the Fremantle to Bali race is aiming for a new record. Almost 50 yachts took on the first Fremantle to Bali in 1981, a field rarely equaled in three decades. But a record 65 have already raised their sales for 2013. In 2011 we had 23, so almost three times as many. A lot of interest, uh, people from interstate. It's always a race if there's two boats together going in the same direction. We, we will not be waiting for uh, anybody. The dash to Indonesia's tourist island is no holiday. That comes later. At 3,000 kilometres, the biennial marathon is two and a half times as long as the Sydney to Hobart. Well, you need a spirit of adventure. Uh, you need a well-found yacht and a willing crew and uh, dedicated. All set? OK, when you come up. OK. The Fremantle to Bali log reads like an adventure novel. Four days into the first event, a whale sank a boat off Northwest Cape. A decade on, the stately square-rigged Lewin sailed her way into race history. In recent years, organisers have joined forces with Indonesian tourism authorities, taking the event beyond Bali and across the archipelago. Civic receptions and cultural traditional tours and diving trips and so on at all of those places. So that's the uh, very exciting part. What makes this event unique is the time involved. Two weeks for the race, 13 weeks through Indonesia. Then it's all capped off with a four-week odyssey through the Kimberleys. We're coming into Honeymoon Bay okay. and I have planned the whole route. The race is good, but it only goes for two weeks. The, the cruise goes for 13 weeks. It's a lot better. Fresh from battling this year's Sydney to Hobart, Rob Thomas's Finisterre will be a strong race contender. Even world circumnavigation hero John Sanders in his legendary Perry Banu will be Bali bound in May. All sailing for the inaugural Lolly Tasker Trophy. For 30 years it stood there, a fair wind and the right yacht, it's there for the taking. Nick Way, 10 News.